What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the homestead. If you guys are new around here, my name is Liz. And for the past two years, my husband Mike and I have been building this shop house in the mountains of North Idaho. In one of our last videos, you guys might have seen me using this Harbor Freight planer to tackle this big pile of boards. So every single one of these boards, Mike and I milled on our Harbor Freight sawmill out of Ponderosa Pine. And these boards are actually going up on the walls of our apartment upstairs in this loft. Um, and before you can do that, they need to be sent through the planer because it's rough cut wood and we're not a big fan of the rough cut look. The look itself is nice, but like the practicality of the rough cut is not there. So we have to send them through the planer and then they have to get sent through the table saw. So it really is quite the process, but it is so worth it because once these boards get up on the wall, it is absolutely beautiful. I definitely saw a couple of people um, in the comment section talk about skipping the planing step and just having the rough cut wood up on the wall. Mike and I already went through with this with one of the walls. We wanted to save some time. So we skipped the planing step and just put these boards up on the wall um, as rough cut. And I'll show you guys the issue that we were facing with that. So this is what the boards look like when you take them off the sawmill. We cut the shiplap groove in them, but we did not send them through the planer. So you guys can see it is definitely rough cut. You know, the grain is really fine. You've got like these wood hairs on there. And the issue that I'm facing with that is, check this out. Can't really see it that well, but there's tons of dog hair. Mike and I have two dogs and everything just gets stuck to it. You cannot dust it like you would a normal wall. So before I go to stain this, I'm going to have to sand it in a lot of spots um, to get rid of that. It just kind of drives me nuts and it wasn't worth it. The rest of these walls look wonderful. You can go through with a rag and just wipe it right off. You know, you don't have those fine grains, the long hairs that everything gets stuck to. So this is what we want the walls to look like. So one of the issues that I was facing is that a lot of these boards are over 12 inches in width and I can only fit 12 inches through that Harbor Freight planer. So that's a little bit of an issue. I kind of had the idea, well, what if I just go through and sand these by hand? Um, I tried it out and it really isn't as bad as you might think. So what I'm going to do is fire up this planer, keep working on the ones that will fit, um, put the ones that won't fit aside and start sanding them by hand. There's no shortage of issues building your house this way. So I'm gonna show you the issue that I'm running into. Okay, so all of these boards are pretty much the exact same size. They're about eight feet long by 12 feet wide and half an inch thick, but none of these boards are perfectly straight. You know, when they come off of the sawmill, they're naturally wavy. Um, so you can see like the planer like makes some of it smooth some of it is smooth while some of it is still really rough. Um, and you can't just keep running these things through the planer a hundred times like I've learned because it messes with the thickness and you want them all to be around the same thickness. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just go through and sand it down. Um, the planer will give it a good start and then I'm just gonna line all the boards up and sand them down at the same time and see how that goes. As I'm talking to you guys, I realize I look like a crazy lady witch with my hair. So I'm gonna do us all a favor and wear a hat. That's better. All right, you guys, I wanna take just a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Omaze. Mike and I are so excited to be working with Omaze to offer you guys a chance to win a $130,000 tiny home from True Form Tiny. Plus, you get to support a great cause, the National Parks Foundation. Mike and I have entered into these sweepstakes and we decided that if we won, we would put this tiny home up on the top of our mountain. We feel that a lot of our audience might have similar interests, but even if you don't, you could put this thing in your parents' backyard or the Sahara Desert. It can really go anywhere. Not only do you have a chance to win this once in a lifetime experience, but your donations also support the National Parks Foundation. And the National Parks Foundation works to protect wildlife, preserve history, and connect people everywhere to the wonder of the parks. 
It is as simple as going to omaze.com forward slash laid back for your chance to win this $130,000 custom tiny home from True Form Living. Plus, you get to support the National Parks Foundation, and that's pretty cool. Thank you so much to Amaze for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to work. So I'm getting to a point in this pile of boards where all of them are too wide to go through this planer. Um, there's some ones that are a little more narrow, but they're on the very bottom of the pile. So instead of just moving all of these boards to a different spot, I think it's gonna be easier if I just move the planer and start sanding the really wide ones, um, and then just hook the planer back up when I get to the, the more narrow boards. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. So right away, I can already tell that this 80 grit sandpaper is not giving me the desired like smoothness that I would like. Um, it is taking away all of these like long hairs from the rough cut. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll give it a quick once over with the 80 and then switch it out with like maybe a 120 grit um, to give it like that nice smooth finish. All right, so I did the once over with that 80 grit. I know you can't really see it that well, but most of these long hairs that comes with the rough cut are gone. So I'm gonna switch it out for the 120 grit and see if I like it. Also, I can already feel the dust in my lungs. So we're just gonna put this bad boy on. Wow, so good news, you guys. The sander is definitely working. It is more time consuming than the ideal planer situation would be, but it is getting rid of all these long hairs. It is getting rid of that rough cut feel and it is smooth on my hands. And that is what we want um, because this is not the final product. Once they go on the wall and all the walls in the ceiling are finished, we will be putting you know, some sort of oil-based stain or like painting some of these walls. So that will definitely help as well. But as of right now, this sander is getting it smooth enough to where I could wipe it off and like dog hair isn't going to stick to these boards. So I'm really happy with it. Okay, Jed is with Mike today, but I got my little shop helper, June June. Girls stick together, huh, June? <laughs> You're a good girl.
So Mike made it home. He was not playing hooky today. He was actually working. Um, yeah, working on other projects. Yeah. One of our good friends, they are also building a house. Um, so he was over there helping them put walls up, right? Yep, we were building just interior walls, framing interior walls. So uh, yeah. yeah, it was a good day. Long day over there and yeah. got a lot done. And Liz had a long day here and also got a lot done. So yeah. it was a productive day. You're a very good person. Um, yeah, I was waiting for him to get home to see what he thought about like the outcome of sanding versus putting it through the planer. So it let's... looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I think my verdict is like the planer does a nicer job, but like it almost seems like that planer is like becoming not worth it for like these wide boards and the yeah. ones that are really bowed, you know? Yeah. Cause like either way you're going to have to go through and sand a little bit because the planer doesn't get it all completely smooth. I think we need to put like an industrial grade yeah, planer on our radar for, for sure. sure. Keep an eye out on like Craigslist for a used one or yeah, something. I agree. Yeah. I think that's what we need to do these boards for sure. the proper way. Agreed. Until then this works. Yeah. The sanding's all right. I yeah. mean, it's pretty like tedious and time consuming, but yep. I think it's going to work perfectly. This is a lot better than like the rough cut, um, mess that like the wall. All the hair sticks yeah, too. Like and, so yeah. this will be really good. Yeah, I'm pleased much with it. smoother. Looks good. Yeah, I think we're going to have some dinner, put this dirt bike rack together, and then I'm going to come back down in the morning and hopefully finish up this pile. Cool. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, you guys. I decided that I wanted to start the morning off a little bit easier, so I set the planer back up and those more narrow boards that were on the bottom of the pile, I dug those out um, and got those all finished. So that was maybe like eight or nine boards. Now I have this pile of, how many is this? I don't know, close to 10 boards that are too wide to go through the planer. So I'm gonna start sanding those again and hopefully get it all done here in the next hour or so. So it looks like the $15 sander that I bought four years ago finally gave out on me. They have these little springs that holds the um, sandpaper in place. And one of them looks like it's pretty bent. Um, and the sandpaper keeps popping out like every time I try to continue, which is unfortunate because I only have about five of these boards left. But I think I'm just gonna have to get a new sander. We're gonna need a new one anyways, um, and then continue this on. I'm really happy with the progress that we made. All of these sanded boards means we just have to run them through the table saw to get the shiplap groove and then up on the wall and we are smooth sailing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.